devastation wrought by the atomic raids of 1965, three great police states rose to divide the world. Oceania, Eurasia, and East Asia. Atomic weapons were abolished, but not war itself. For only by maintaining the strain and tension of continual conflict could the ruling parties enforce absolute power. London, with its bomb-proof ministries, became capital of Airstrip One, a province of Oceania. for an important announcement. The Ministry of Peace is happy to report that thanks to the vigilance of our gallant interceptors, no Eurasian rocket bomb was able to reach targets of any importance. We continue now with our regular broadcast. April 18th, 1984. Nobody keeps a diary today because to do so would be punishable by death. I don't care anymore. 
I found this old book by chance. And I'm going to set down what I dare not say aloud to anyone. I've seen that girl again. I'm sure she was following me. Perhaps they suspect me already. We interrupt this program for an important bulletin. The saboteurs Lewis and Siegel were caught a few minutes ago in the neighborhood of Victory Square and have already confessed their guilt. As he was arrested, Lewis was heard to shout in a loud voice, Long live Big Brother! Quieter. You can't blame her for being excited, you know. This is her evening with the spies. Traitor, Lord Criminal. I thought we could take her there and then go and have a drink. Why have you got this desk so far away from the telly screen? It ought to be over there. There's something in what she says, you know. She doesn't miss a thing. I'll have to report you. Nonsense, Selina, nonsense. Winston has nothing to hide. Have you, Winston? Oh, ready then? Yes, I'm ready. 6748 Smith W. Regulation 6040. Outer party members will always wear identification badges when going in public places. And Smith, don't forget again. All right, I'm ready. VB granted them a pardon. Do you remember? He freed 25 prisoners in honor of the Mediterranean victory. Only VB could make a gesture like that. I imagine they've spent some time at the Ministry of Love. Oh, yes. That's why they're here. They're cured. Better not show so much interest. Two gins. Huh. Maybe we shouldn't have stopped here. I get pretty uneasy when I'm near people who aren't healthy, if you know what I mean. Oh, well. Long live B.B. Long live B.B. Anything wrong? No. Coffee, please. I looked at that girl as though you were scared. I, uh, I dislike her. I don't know her. Huh? Yes, she works in the Ministry of Truth in the fiction department. They turn out books for the people. But you've never spoken to her. No, she watches me. That needn't bother you. I mean, even if she's a member of the Thought Police, you've got nothing to worry about. That's right. I'll be coming through. Thank you. 
Here is an important bulletin from the Ministry of Love. Tonight, Big Brother ordered the re-arrest of the arch traitors Jones and Rutherford. Good evening. Good evening. Remember me? You're the gentleman that bought that old diary. Yes. I, um... Uh, I was just passing by. I looked in. I... I was wondering if you might have anything else in which I'd be interested. Do you mind if I look around? Not at all. came from the Indian Ocean. Look, they used to embed it in glass like that. Oh, it must be a hundred years old, or more. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, it is a beautiful thing. Not beauty as we understand it today, of course. It serves no useful purpose. But then, I'm an old man. I... How much is it? I could let you have it for Fifteen shillings. Have you changed? Yes. Thank you. Oh, there's another room upstairs. There's not much in it, just a few pieces. Perhaps you would care to see it. Yes, I'd like to. I'll lead the way. here until my wife died. I'm selling off the furniture little by little. There's no telescreen here. Of course not. It's a people's area. I know, but it seems strange. That's an interesting picture. It was a church. Do you know that word? Yes, there were still churches when I was a child. You must have been a grown man before I was born. 
You can remember what it was like in the days before the revolution. Yes. You can remember the oppression and the injustice and the poverty back in the 50s. Vaguely. I'm keeping you from your other customers. Yes. Uh, well, you have a look around. Oh, excuse me. Good evening. Good evening. I saw some things in the window and wanted to have a closer look. Anything in particular? No. You seem to have some interesting things. I doubt if I have anything of interest to a young lady like yourself. I see. Do you have many customers? Alas, no. The antique business is just about finished. Do many outer party members come here? Why should they? Ah, there you are. Your change. Thank you. Your paperweight. I thought if I got a little air. When did you leave work? 1,800 hours. It's now 2,200. Report tomorrow morning at 800 hours to Fort Administration. Took a rather long walk last night. Yes. Did it help your headache? I, I don't have one this morning. Perhaps you've been working too hard. I don't think so. You find your job at the records department too exacting? No. What do you do, Smith? I revise history. That's an unfortunate way of putting it. What you actually do is to rectify speeches and wrongly reported incidents, isn't it? Yes. It shows how great the need is for establishing new speakers, the official language, as soon as possible. When the new dictionary is issued, there'll be less danger of calling things by their wrong names. Did you visit any of the shops in the people's area last night? No. Did you speak to anyone? No. Did you see any other member of the outer party on your walk? No. You know the party disapproves of its members mixing with the people? Yes. You consider that unreasonable? No. 6748, you're a member of a privileged class, expected to accept restrictions as well as privileges. I had hoped we might be able to deal with this matter here in your own ministry. But your explanations are inadequate. This report will be forwarded to the Ministry of Love for further action. I think we can deal with it here. You're warned to pay strict attention to the regulations in the future. You can return to your department.
directive number 424B was due to 1000 hours. 6748 Smith W. Reference Big Brother's Order Gazette, November 12, 1983. Since the Eurasian offensive has opened in South India, it is impossible that Big Brother predicted this front would remain quiet. Rewrite entire speech. Show that through our magnificent espionage system, Big Brother had prior knowledge of all the enemy's plans. Act Numbers Gazette, November 12, 1983. Sign 6127S. The following men have been found guilty of treason and no longer exist. Conrad Zeilinger, Gordon Prentice, Harold Scholl. Delete all reference to them from the Gazettes of January 2nd, 8th, and 26th. Back Numbers Gazette, January the 2nd, 8th, 26th. What have you got there, Smith? This photograph was between the pages of the Gazette. What photograph? Jones and Rutherford. They confessed to aiding the underground and being in Eurasia during hate week. But here it says... What are you talking about, Smith? I don't see any photograph. No photograph of the traitors Jones and Rutherford exists, does it? No. The system is not perfect. Sometimes there are errors. Attention, comrades. Take your places for the two-minute hate. Eurasia, the vile and ruthless aggressors who have committed countless atrocities and who are guilty of every bestial crime a human being can commit. They have laid waste our land, destroyed our factories, looted our homes, massacred our children and raped our women. They have tortured and killed the wounded and prisoners, contriving lingering and horrible deaths for those who fall into their hands. While our gallant forces are engaged in a life and death struggle, we face on the home front an enemy who is far more dangerous, one of our own people. The arch traitor Cavanaugh. This is the man, the leader of the underground, who betrayed our glorious revolution and would betray Big Brother. The man whose agents sabotage our glorious nine year plan, who retards our progress and sells our military secrets to the enemy. <laughs> is trying to tell you that Big Brother has betrayed you into fighting a war against Eurasia that you can never hope to win. He says, he says the Eurasians are good, kind people. They do not want war. They want peace. He actually begs you to make peace with your brothers of Eurasia.
Committee gave its permission this morning. Who did they choose for you? Comrade Benden, the Victory Orations Department. Oh. Of course, politically, he's perfect. If our medical grades match, they're arranging a meeting next week. Contribution. Which one is that? The hate week. Oh, just a minute. Oh. We're making an all-out effort, going to put on a tremendous show. Now, who else hasn't paid? Oh, Sim si here. down the family as a unit and made it an extension of the thought police. Five of trained children to put loyalty to the party first, without any consideration for their parents. What time do you finish work? 18.30. Our next step is the complete abolition of the old-fashioned conception of love between man and woman. This energy must be diverted. Where shall we meet? 50 Square. The Monument. What time? 1900 hours. Within a hundred years from now, the sexual impulse will exist only as a symbol of duty towards the party. In a few seconds, Eurasian prisoners will be passing through Victory Square. These are the evil men whose ruthless lust for power has threatened to destroy the civilized world. Yeah! The men who preferred war, but already they are beginning to learn the mistake they have made as they encounter the might of Oceania. Sweeping back the invading hordes of Eurasians. The figures of prisoners taken is the biggest since the war began. Yeah! Now is your chance, comrades, to let them hear the voice of Oceania. There they are! Cross the bridge and follow the 
the river for a half a mile until you come to a fallen tree. Wait for me in the gate. I'll get there by another boat. Can you remember that? microphone here. It takes a little while to realize you're not being overheard. All watched. We can look at each other now and not be afraid. We can say whatever we like to each other. How'd you know that? But I want to find something out. I have ways. It took me ages to get that message to you. I thought you were spying on me when you came into that shop. You thought I was a good party member. Pure in word and deed. <laughs> That's why I was afraid of you. You know, I hated you and I wanted to kill you. That's what Big Brother's done to us all. Made us hate and fear each other. How did you know I wasn't a good party member? Something in your face. Somehow I knew you'd be against them. It'll be safe here once or twice again, and then we'll have to go somewhere else. Eventually they'll find us out. I won't let you take that risk from me. I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for myself. If you keep the big rules, it's safe to break the little ones. You've been here before, haven't you? Yes. Does that shock you? No. They're afraid of love. Because love makes a world they can't control. And it's a world worth taking risks for, isn't it? Yes. It's more than two weeks since we have been able to meet except for a few moments in a crowd or near a telescreen. There must be a message in the usual place tonight.
Selena. I didn't hear you coming. You weren't meant to. We're trained as a spy to follow people silently. Why were you following me? We're told to follow anyone who behaves suspiciously. What was suspicious about my behavior? It's suspicious coming here. I was working in my room on an article for Newspeak. A page blew out the window. I saw it flutter down here and I came to try to find it. I saw you pick up something. I dropped my cigarettes, that's all. It's dark now. I'll have to look on my way to work tomorrow. Are you coming, Selena? Are you coming, Selena? Yes, I'm coming. I don't know. I was dozing myself. We'll have to be leaving soon. I wonder if we dare come here again. I think we're safe for another Sunday. And then what do we do? On seeing each other every day without being able to speak, passing on the streets and pretending not to recognize each other. there was somewhere where we needn't be afraid all the time. Where we could be together longer. The old man in the shop would have to know. Anytime he wanted, he could report us. I don't think he would. I've talked with him. He's only interested in his antiques. And renting the room would give him a little money so he wouldn't have to sell all his treasures. You saw him yourself. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust someone. I'm going to do it. found out. We shouldn't have stayed so long. It's no use. It's too late. Go on up there. Quickly. Go on.
She said she would be there. The young lady was very nice about it, but I think you'll find it more comfortable now. Oh, since you were both last here, I've managed to get you some pots and pans. And I took some of my old stuff downstairs. Oh, and everything in the kitchen works now. I'm afraid it's not as peaceful as you might like. I like it. I don't hear much singing where I live. Oh, we do in this district. Popular songs, of course. The party keeps us well supplied with those. Oh, this is perhaps the young lady now. Yes. Good afternoon. Hello. Oh, well, I'll be leaving you now. Should you require anything, I'm just below. Thank you. You're late. What happened to you? The anti-sex meeting went on forever. I thought those silly women would never stop talking. Then I had to pick up some things. I was afraid something might keep you from getting here. You worry too much. Look what I have. What's this? Coffee. Real coffee. Real sugar. So how did you manage it? It's all inner party stuff. They have everything. Yes, but where did you get it? A friend. A friend? A girlfriend. What else do you have in there? You'll see. I'll make some coffee. Hmm? woman singing? I like that. I believe it's people like her who will one day overthrow Big Brother and all he stands for. Julia? Just a minute. some of those bloodless females could see you now, see what a woman can really look like. I'm really afraid of. Why? When I was a child, where I lived, there were swarms of them. One day, my, my sister. Forgive me. I didn't mean to upset you. I'll make some coffee. Yes. Will you help me? Yes. Do you feel this with water?
I'm sorry. Put the sugar in the bowl. Hmm? If only you didn't have to wear these again. I wish you could stay always as you are now. That would be worth fighting for. There must be something we can do about it. If only I knew someone in the underground. People who have anything to do with the underground don't live long. There's a man at the Ministry of Truth called O'Connor. He's a member of the inner party. I think he's against them, too. Sooner or later, you've got to trust someone you said so yourself. Yes, but I didn't mean someone in the inner party. Someone who could have you vaporized by lifting his little finger. I don't know. I think I could trust O'Connor. The only people we can trust are ourselves. Do you remember Jones and Rutherford? They were accused of being in Eurasia during hate week last year. Well, they weren't. They were right here, being honored by Big Brother. Some weeks ago, I found a newspaper photograph. O'Connor saw me with it. And he didn't report you? If he had, I wouldn't be here. It was a little scrap of evidence out of the past that they'd forgotten to destroy, and I had it right in my hand. Darling, you can't fight them alone. If there is an underground, if it isn't another of their inventions to keep people hysterical, I want to be part of it. One of these days, I'm going to let O'Connor know how I feel. Oh, please. Don't worry, I won't do anything stupid. I'll wait till he gives me some sort of signal. Something that lets me know. details today of the full list of crimes confessed by the traitors Jones and Rutherford. These atrocious acts of treachery include the embezzlement of party funds, the murder of many trusted party members, immoral relations with women of the party, and collaboration with the leader of the underground, the arch-traitor, Calador. <laughs> Six seven four eight Smith W. Yes. What's in the briefcase? I brought some work home with me. I was about to write an article on the grammar of Newspeak. Bring it to the screen and open it. These are notes for the article. All members of the records department have to report for late duty in an hour's time. Meanwhile, carry on with your work. All organizations taking part in the Hate Week demonstration are preparing their programs with unprecedented enthusiasm. Never before in the history of Oceania have we been given so much cause for a show of concentrated hatred against the enemy. We continue now with our regular broadcast. The exclusive employment of words sanctioned by the party will reduce the possibility of confusion and doublethink. Work is already progressing on the latest edition of the Newspeak Dictionary, which will replace all previous editions. You seem to take a scholarly interest in the new dictionary, Smith. Oh, hardly scholarly. Have you seen any of the material we're using? No, Sign told me about it. 
time. Yes, he works over... Sime no longer exists. The work has to be carried on, of course. It seems to me you're more equipped to do it than anyone else. I'd like you to look at that new material. Perhaps you can pick it up at my apartment. I'll give you the address. I'm usually in after 1900 hours. Come along as soon as you can. I have reason to believe that you can be of great value to us. But I tell you, it's the same handwriting. You mean he just gave you his address and said he wanted to talk to you at his home? Things like that don't happen. It would be too dangerous. He made some sort of excuse about the new dictionary. You know, if you're wrong, it would be the end of all this. Once they get hold of us, there's nothing, absolutely nothing, that either one of us can do for the other. They can make us confess anything. But they can't make us believe it. They can't get the sight of us. Who knows what they can do? Julia, I'm convinced O'Connor's a member of the underground. He's our one hope. I'm going through with this. I have to. But there's no need for you. Whatever you're going to do. I'm coming with you. He has announced tonight that production figures for this year already exceed those of the corresponding date in 1983 by over 12%. All right, Martin, you can bring them in now. In certain categories, this increase is even greater. For this example, way, hardware goods such as kitchen utensils are 17.5% higher than last year. Shoes show a staggering increase of 21%. Shoe laces, however, show only an increase of 5%. It is confidently predicted that this increased production will continue Sorry. throughout this year. The Ministry of Plenty is confident that 1984 will demonstrate the complete success of Big Brother's nine-year plan. You can turn it off? A few members of the inner party have that privilege. come here because, because, because you both believe there's a conspiracy, some kind of organization working against Big Brother. Yes, we believe that you're involved in it. We want to join it and work for it. That's all right. Martin is one of us. All right, Martin, bring the drinks over here. Might as well sit and talk in comfort. It's fitting we should begin by drinking a toast. It's wine. I'm afraid not much of it reaches the outer party. What shall we drink to? The triumph of Calador? The confusion of the thought police? Down with Big Brother. Down with Big Brother. You can go now, Martin. But before you go, take a good look at these two comrades' faces. You'll be seeing them again. In general terms, what are you prepared to do? You are, of course, prepared to give your lives. Yes. You're prepared to commit murder? Yes. To betray your country to a foreign power? Yes. Are you prepared to separate and never see one another anymore? No. No. You did well to tell me. Of course, you realize that you'll be fighting in the dark. You'll have nothing to sustain you except the idea. And when you're caught, you will get no help. Later, I will send you a book which will teach you the nature of the society we live in and the strategy we shall use to destroy it. But you'll get no information about your own organization. 
When you receive orders, they will have come from me. I assume that you have some kind of hiding place. Yes, a room over a junk shop. We go there Sundays when we can. That briefcase, do you always carry it? As a rule, yes. Every day during hate week, carry it empty. Well, now I'm afraid it's time for you to go. Even we are not allowed to turn that off as long as we would want. I used to be afraid there was no underground. Perhaps the party invented us. Oh, and Smith. If I were you, I would destroy that diary. He stands ever ready to welcome back to his loving protection those who have seen the error of their ways. Oh, yeah! Only one sin, one sin is unforgivable, the sin of treason. Yeah! Tonight, tonight the traitors Rutherford and Jones will speak to you themselves before they're taken away to the death they so richly deserve. tonight to tell you of the grave crimes which I have committed in thought, word, and deed, for which I am now truly penitent. I betrayed my country to our enemy, the Eurasian. I conspired with the arch-traitor Calador. Excuse me, comrade. I think you've taken the wrong briefcase. Conspired with the arch traitor Calador to overthrow Big Brother. Shows you how well organized the underground is. Now, listen. Not just now, darling. Well, there may not be another chance for weeks. It's going to be a rush at the records office. You know how it is during hate week. The speeches are full of mistakes, and we've got to put them right. Now, listen. Calador says the aim of the ruling class is to stay where it is. The aim of the middle class is to overthrow the ruling class. And the aim of the lower class is to create a society in which all classes are equal. Big Brother has so organized the inner party that there is no danger of the ruling class being deposed. Darling, aren't you listening? I'd like to have had a child. This is so important, Julia. It's just words. Mm 
No, Julia, this can make everything we want possible. Don't you want to understand what we're fighting for? I found that out already. Here in this room. We've got to fight to keep this happening. I know. But it won't be Calidore's book or any underground that will defeat them. What then? Don't you see that? There must be others in love like us. Who will rebel. Can't stop that. That's the real hope for the future. I wonder if it could happen in our lifetime. Maybe. But the important thing is that there's hope in the world. All I know is when we're together, it's wonderful to be alive. You are the dead. The mirror. It must be a telescreen. It can't be. over your heads. I think I warned you it wouldn't be as peaceful here as you could like. Nothing is ever hidden from the thought police. Take them away. When a woman's arrested, what happens to her? Where do they take the women? Never knowing I had any mad stuff in my mind at all. Do you know what they've heard me say? Down with Big Brother. I said that in my sleep. I said it over and over again, it seems. I'm glad they got me before it went any further. Do you know what I'm going to say when I go out before the tribunal? Thank you. 
I meant to say, thank you for saving me before it was too late. Who denounced you? My little girl. She heard what I was saying. I don't bear her any grudge for it. It shows I brought her up in the right spirit, anyway. Just once. What's room 101? O'Connor. Take his bed. Don't be in too much of a hurry to find out about room 101. You'll find out in good time. What have you done with Julia? She betrayed you, Winston. You tortured her. I've watched over you for a long time. Now I'm going to help you. First, there are some preliminaries to be gone through, but after that, you will be brought to me and we will talk. Time has come, Winston. Do you know where you are, Winston? why we bring people to this place? Yes. Make them confess. You don't really believe that? No, I suppose I don't. To punish them? No. We bring them here to cure them. To make them sane. Nobody that we bring here ever leaves our hands uncured. Why don't you kill me? The first thing you must understand about this place, Winston, is that there are no martyrdoms. The rid of the religious persecutions of the past. They were failures. They set out to eradicate heresies and they ended by perpetuating them. We do not make that mistake. We make them tell the truth. Why bother with me? You are a flaw in the pattern, Winston. You are a stain which has to be wiped out. When finally you confess to us, it must be of your own free will. We do not destroy the heretic, we convert him. We capture his inner mind. We reshape him. We burn all evil out of him. We bring him over to our side, not merely in appearance, but genuinely. Heart and soul. We make him one of ourselves. No one whom we bring to this place ever stands out against us. We will lead you, step by step, to the point from which there is no return. Never again will you be capable of love or friendship or joy of life or laughter or courage or curiosity or integrity. You will be hollow, 
We will squeeze you empty, and then we will fill you with ourselves, with love of Big Brother. Now, before we begin your cure, are there any questions you would like to ask? Where is Julia? She's alive. Next question. Does Calador exist? Does the underground exist? That, Winston, you will never know. But that question, Winston, proves that you are mentally deranged. You have a defective memory. You're unable to remember real events, and you persuade yourself that you remember events which never happened. For example, do you remember receiving a book supposedly written by Calador? Yes. Somebody gave it to me in Victory Square. Are you quite sure that that book ever existed? I want the truth, Winston. Tell me what you think you remember. I had the book. Take him away. Let us take another delusion of yours. You believe you had in your hands a photograph of the traitors, Jones and Rutherford? I did have it. You believe it was some sort of documentary evidence proving their confessions were false. I remember telling you that the photograph did not exist. It did exist. It does exist. It exists in my memory. I remember it. You remember it. I do not remember it. There is a party directive dealing with the control of the past. Repeat it to me. Who controls the past controls the future controls the present, controls the past. And where do you suppose this past exists? In records. The party controls all records. And in human memories. The party controls all human memories. How can you control the memory? You haven't controlled mine. On the contrary, you haven't controlled it. That is why you're here. You've been lacking in humility, in self-discipline. You must make an effort of the will, Winston, and rehabilitate your mind. Then you will be sane. But first, you must be humble. Do you remember writing in that diary of yours that freedom is the freedom to say that two plus two make four? How many fingers am I holding out? And if the state says not four, but five, how many? Four. Take him. Now how many fingers? Four. Four. What else can I say? Four. Point two oh. Point two oh. One, two, out. How many fingers, Winston? Four. Four. Point three oh. Point three oh. One, two, three, four. 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 Anything you like, only starboard. Sideways. Starboard. That's no use, Winston. You're lying. You still think there are four. How can I help seeing what's in front of my eyes? Two and two are four. Sometimes. We've had all that out before. Sometimes they are four. Sometimes, if the state says so, they are five. How many fingers? 
I'm trying to see five. Which do you want? To persuade me that you see five or really to see them? Really to see them. Point six oh. Point six oh. Again, how many fingers? I don't know. I don't know. Four, five, six. In all honesty, I don't know. Better. without any persuasion. There are five fingers there. Do you see five fingers? Yes. Look at me. Did you ever read a book by Calido? No. No such book ever existed, did it? No. See how the mind can be controlled and washed clean. Even the traitors, Jones and Rutherford, in whose innocence you once believed. In the end, we broke them down. When we had finished with them, there was nothing left in them except sorrow for what they had done and love of Big Brother. Stand up. Come over here. That's enough. It's a long time since you've seen yourself, Winston. Look. have you done to me? Can you think of a single degradation that has not happened to you? No. I'm prepared to separate and never see one another anymore. No. Julia. I have not betrayed Julia. I have not betrayed Julia. No. No, that is perfectly true. You have not betrayed Julia. Come with me, Winston. You're going to find out what lies beyond that door, Winston. But to whet your curiosity, I will give you a hint. In room 101 is the worst thing in the world. Of course, that varies from individual to individual. It may be burial alive, or death by drowning, or by fire, or by impalement, or 50 other deaths. Which death do you fear most in all the world, Winston? I needn't answer. You've already told me. A rat! A rat! It's gone now. I've never seen you like this. It's the one thing I really hate. The one thing I'm really afraid of. Why? Oh. When I was a child, where I lived, there were swarms of them. One day, my. 
Will you lead the way, Winston? Not to me. To Julia, not to me. I don't care what you do to her. Let her suffer. Not to me. To Julia. Not to me. <laughs> on the African front is still continuing. It is feared that unless a counterattack is launched immediately, the whole of Central Africa may fall to the invading hordes. A defeat in this area might well threaten the very heart of Oceania itself. In this grave crisis, the Ministry of Truth will continue to issue frequent bulletins. All you care about is yourself. All you care. 
care about is yourself. Then you don't feel the same way about the other person any longer. No. You don't feel the same any longer. has resulted in the utter rout of the Eurasian army in Africa. The enemy is completely demoralized and fleeing before our victorious troops. Long live Big Brother! <laughs> Thank you.